from our perspective. Um, you know, the modern soldering, you do spend huge parts of your, your life away. Uh, and I think from, from the girls' perspective, uh, you know, they, uh, the strength is through the community that they live with, having uh, friends that they've known for quite a long time who are all very close by, and they you know, look after each other um, and the children. Um, but it, I mean, it's not to say that it's easy, but uh, you know, we all have coping mechanisms, whether you're um, the soldier and deployed away or whether you're the, the family left behind. Um, but uh, yeah, the, it is nice to stop um, being away quite so often. I think the wives, I have to say, are fantastic. You know, all my um, three daughters-in-law are, are incredible. The way they've, you know, been able to, and none of them have had any military experience before. Um, I married into an army family, so she knew what she was letting herself in for. But uh, my eldest son um, has been away probably more than any of us. Else, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, he's constant. I can't remember how many tours he's had away, but it, it must be seven or eight. Um, and they've been married since '95, so it is a huge amount of time and of course it's not just the tours themselves it's all the preparation for the tours you are spending a lot of time um, training in, in at various uh, stages prior to deployment so it is an enormous amount of way and I think probably it, it adds up if you're in a battalion to um, uh, eight or nine months away in a year 